and the children of Israel done evil, the children of Israel done evil in the sight of the Lord. Every time they got delivered, they seemed like they couldn't stand good times. They would begin to turn away from the Lord Jesus Christ, turn away from God. And the word of God tells me today, any nation that forgets God uh, will be turned into hell, any nation or any people. Uh, my friend, God will not put up with sin for no thing or nobody. Thank God. But honey, sin is a reproach to any nation. But righteousness will exalt any people today. Thank God. Uh, but they, they God, great, that God brought them out of, e out of Egypt and brought them into the land of flowing with milk and honey. And it wasn't very long until after uh, Joshua died, they began to turn away uh, and they began to go after the gods of the nations that had already destroyed. Uh, and now they was already worshiping Baal and they done turn away from the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I want you to know that there's no man or woman once you know the Lord Jesus Christ and you go away from Him. I want you to know that you'll never prosper. You may seem like you will, but you won't ever for the Word of God is called Remember the Former Days. Uh, how you fought the great of fight of affliction once you was illuminated. Uh, thank back, honey, when you used to have joy in your soul when you could go to sleep at night and lift up your hand and say, Lord, if I wake up in the morning, it's all right. And if not, I've got a better home yeah. to go to. Thank God. Well, let me tell you, once you taste and see that the Lord is good, uh, you might go back out into this world, but let me tell you one thing. You'll never forget what you once had at the Father's house. Thank God. Uh, how about they had done backslidden upon God and they was done a horse from Baal. Uh, and the Lord delivered, brought up the many nights and they began to cover the lamb like grasshoppers. And every time they would sow, they would come up and take everything they had. Uh, and they didn't have an ox, they didn't have sheep. As a matter of fact, they even drove into the mountains and, and they were living in strongholds and in dens. Uh, that's what the devil wants you to do to yeah. today. Yeah. He wants you so yeah. impoverished. How uh, about the Lord Jesus Christ said, I come that you might have life and have life. Amen. 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 And the Amen. Son says, free is free indeed. Uh, I want you to know that God wants us to prosper also uh, and to be in good health. I'm not telling you to get rich quick. How uh, about my friend, God will bless you if you begin to put forth the weapon and begin to work on it. God will begin to bless you. Thank God. Yeah. Uh, but my friend, they turned their back on God uh, and therefore they delivered them into the hands of the Midianite uh, and they began to cry out to the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, uh, my friend, and the God sent them a prophet down and he began to tell them, uh, he said, when you did I not bring you out of Egypt, out of the land of bondage uh, and I brought you into this land and I gave you their land uh, and did I not tell you uh, that I am the Lord God uh, and do not fear them but no, you didn't hearken unto my voice. Uh, but I want you to know no matter how you are today, God sent a deliverer. The one time and his name was Moses, but the one time the greatest deliverer of all time came, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. And they yeah. believe tonight is here, yeah. the Lord Jesus Christ is tonight is here to deliver you out of the bondage of sin. Thank God. That's King Jesus. David said he took me up also out of the horrible pit and out of my grave and said, I put upon a rock and established yeah. my door. Aren't you glad? Thank God that one day he took you up also out of that horrible pit, out of that fiery clay, out of that horrible pit. And that rock is Jesus, thank God. Yeah. And you know, Gideon was down by the wine press and he was thrashing wheat barley. And he was down there hiding because he didn't want the many nights to have it. But an angel of the Lord knows just where he was at. And he said, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. He wasn't a mighty man at all, but a God tonight knowed what he was going to do for him. And God ain't concerned about what you was. He ain't concerned about That's what right. you are. But it's what you can be, thank God. Yeah. I like the yeah. Army slogan today it says, Be all you can yeah. be, thank God. Thank God. And the Air Force is aim high. And what of the Marine Corps of the Air Force Navy got a good saying. When it comes in, believe this world, it says, let the journey begin. Thank God. How about my friend? He said, had the Lord be with us. How can you say that? He said, because, let me tell you, we felt, but because we fell upon us, we were delivered into the hands of the Midianites. And our fathers tell us about the miracles and how he brought them up out of Egypt. And the Lord, angel of the Lord spoke to him. But the Bible says, the Lord looked at him and said, go in this night, for I will deliver the Midianites into your hands and I'll give you the victory what he was telling him and he began to question the Lord. He said how can I do this? He said my family is poor and I'm the least of my family. It doesn't matter what you are today because God does not look upon the size of the accounts of a man but God looks upon the heart thank God. It doesn't matter what you decide today thank God. It doesn't matter how old you are if you'll come to the Lord Jesus Christ. You see God's got a plan for my life and God's got a plan for your life because he's a potter and we're the clay thank God. And boys you can Talk to him, and he said, I, I'll just sort of deliver him into your hands. And he said, If I found favor and grace in your eyes, stay here until I go and bring my present return. And the angel said, I will tarry. And he went in and he made the bread, for him on living bread, and he took a lamb, and then he took a broth and he put it in a pail, and he brought it to him. And the angel said, I put the bread over there and pour the broth on the rock. And he did, and the angel of the Lord touched it, and the bar came out of the rock. It didn't yeah. come out of the brush rod, but it came out of the rock. Thank God. And after the party tonight, it's in the rock. Thank God. Thank God. Yes. 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 I'm 
glad today. Thank God yeah. that you're part of the rock today. Thank yeah. God. Yeah. He's like fire. Should it be my yeah. own? Thank God. Yeah. 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 And it's full of glory. Thank yeah. God. And, and I see the fire yeah. going up and down the avenues yeah. of some of your souls too. Yeah. Thank yeah. God. And it goes tonight to have a spirit. Yeah. Amen. Somebody gets to bragging on the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, that fire comes out of the rock. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. You don't have to have to do this. Thank God. You don't got the man of make the rock tonight. Thank God. Yeah. It's going on. It's making one full of glory. Yeah. And then I want you to know. Uh, he yeah. said, after a while, I'm getting afraid. Uh, and he yeah. said, this tonight. He said, I'm afraid. Uh, he said, because my eyes are seeing the angel of the Lord. Uh, but the Lord spoke to him. And he said, fear not. Uh, for you will not die. And what did he do? He built up an altar to the Lord and he called it Jehovah Shalom. You know what that means? That was what Connie was singing about. The Lord our peace. The only peace you're going to have in this world is yeah. the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord we're going to have tribulation. Thank God. And the only peace that we're going to have is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't you think today the peace is going to get better? Things is only going to wax worse. And the only peace you're going to have is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God.
Hallelujah. And I want you to know that. I, my wife sings a song. How great it is to serve a living God. Yeah. Now, this is what I'm trying to please God. Made a wooden stone and he didn't get no answer. But thank God I serve a God today that answers my prayer today. Thank God. He said that he before the eyes should he not see. And he the bread the ears should he not hear. He said, Behold, my arm is not so short that I cannot save you. And neither is my ears so heavy that I cannot hear the cry of Christ. Isn't it good? Thank God that we got a God in my Isaiah 1 and 12 says, I come and let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall become white as snow. Though they be great as crimson, they shall become as wool. Oh, and that old Gideon went up and he blow the trumpet and he sent messengers all through the country and 32,000 men came because they was part of the oppression of the Midianites. Aren't you part of the oppression of the devil tonight? It's high time that we stand up and say, I'm part of serving the, the world. I'm part of this world. But the world will pass away in the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God shall abide forever. Oh, yeah. I go life is but a vapor, and then which God vanished away, and a man's life, honey, is but a few days in full trouble. But thank God, honey, we can have the real peace that Connie was thinking about. How many knows his eyes as the Lord shall on tonight? Thank God, honey, that's one of the spirits of God that's peace. And the word of God says, when a man's ways please God, he'll even make his enemies to be at peace with him. You know why Sister Sue tonight is so happy? Because she has peace with God tonight. Jesus Christ our Lord. Yeah, but I want you to know something tonight. If you don't have Jesus Christ in your life tonight, the Word of God says God is angry with the sinners every day. Yeah, but boys, there's one way you can have peace with God is accepting His Son, of Jesus Christ. And I thank God. He said, I come to set the captive free. Thank God, and if the Son shall set you free, ye shall be free. Indeed, how many free tonight to lift your hand and to pray to God and say, I don't part of this world. They used to sing an old song, and my wife will sing it. I'd rather be an old time Christian than anything I know. My friend, don't set your sights upon this world. I think it's going to get worse, but I've got peace tonight. Somebody said you don't worry about nothing. Worry don't get you nothing but a heart attack and gray headed. My friend, but honey, I want you to know that my Jesus tonight, he still has everything in hand tonight. It may look like it's kind of going out of course, but God's got everything right on his timetable tonight. He's got everything under control, thank God. Well, there was 32,000 men coming up there, and uh, the Lord spoke, and he said, there's too many. I can't give you the victory unless they've gone for self. A man's got a bad habit of getting all built up in their self. You remember when we had that war over there? What was it called? Operation Desert Storm. You know what the president and I Marking for this. He said, Would everybody take one day of prayer and fasting and praying for America and that 45 day lore? You know what happened during that 45 days? We lost more men been mugged in New York and killed than we did in that war. That one sports called victory. That was God's victory. Yeah. Yeah. America's in such a turmoil. He used to say, and it still does, on our money. In God we trust. We need to do that again. We need to turn back yeah. to God. Yeah. Pour our hearts out to God. And to begin to seek God like never before. We don't need to schedule a revival. Honey. We need to pray one yeah. down from Amen. God's world. I may not be bothering you, but it's eating me up tonight. I need to shove back the old plate a little yeah. more. And begin to seek yeah. the Lord like never before. I've got lost children tonight. And they're good people tonight. My children are good boys, but good will not get you into the kingdom of God. Amen. I'm my tonight, as I felt they rag in the sight of God, but thank God when you come to the Lord oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. you get covered by the blood. Yeah. 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 No. And to give you the victory. He said, You tell everyone that's afraid and faint in heart to go on back. And he didn't say to any of you men tonight that's afraid. Oh, you're afraid to go to the battle. Oh, you're just still uneasy about it. Go on back. And I want you to know 22,000 left out of 32,000 left in 10,000 men. And I want you to know this 
the Midianites had 135,000 men. They were men of war. But I know when I sing, when I sing the song, God likes to work when nothing else can. Or thank God of it. I'm glad that we got a God tonight that can make ways where the sin of no way. We serve a God that's just half cold. Have your cares upon me because I care for you. Well, that that would be up. I look like I 10,000 against 135,000. Oh, that would even be close to being a fair battle. But God said there's still too many. I take the people down to the back of the water and they're all approval. And he said, get in. All them that make really a flat of water, take it up in their hand and drink it. Set them aside with themselves and all them. They get down on their knees. I drink like a dog. I drink like a bat on the knees. He said, don't tell them to go away. And old Gideon was only there for 300 men. And now they're ready for God to use them. Sound like an impossible odds. That's 450 to 1. I guess 135,000. But my God, honey, it's God today. Thank God. There was another man. He was the time, honey. 185,000 serious with back with shame on their face. Why? Oh, 
Bible don't worry about no more. Oh, no, that's not Christian. We need to be concerned tonight right. yeah, about yeah. the world tonight. Yeah. Yeah. The world. People won't last forever. Has this ever happened to you? Just tell me. Just shake your head. Don't, I, don't brought somebody to my remembrance. I just thought of them. I, I thought about them. A couple of days later, they died. Oh, what was he trying to tell me? Maybe I should have went and talked to them. I'll never forget Sister Dolores. Went and had church with her. Had 41 people there. And God was a blessing. Boy. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Tonight, my friend, listen tonight. You may be going through one of the greatest battles you ever went through. But just hold on to God. Yeah. Oh, God's yeah. going to give you the victory. Yeah. Oh, God turned her sword on him, and he completely annihilated that army. You see, my God tonight, right. when he's in charge. Yeah. I like that song, Sister yeah. Elsie Hubba. The anchor still holds, the old ship was on. It was all, was all bent, and it was all bad, but it was still floating. Yeah. Thank yeah. God forever. Oh, Jesus said, when I come back to this earth, I'll still find faith upon this earth. Yeah. There's somebody yeah. tonight that's going to yeah. still call him Lord. Yeah. There's somebody tonight that's going to feel that wheel with him. Yeah. Yeah. There's somebody tonight that's going to still feel that fire. Yeah. 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 He's alive. He's alive. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. But how many times have God delivered you? Yeah. How many times? Oh, and then after that, after, after that, after ball, they went back out of the gate. And God sent them another deliverer. But God sent you the greatest deliverer of all time. And his name is called Jesus. Yeah. He said, Don't yeah. you listen to me. He said, I ask you not to sin, but if we do, we have an advocate with the Father, yeah. Jesus Christ the righteous. He said, if a man will cover his sin, he shall not prosper. But if a man will confess and forsake, he shall have mercy. Amen. Now listen, if you don't know the Lord, you've got a restless spirit. Get a any word, do whatever you want to do. When you get there, you're still not going to be happy. Meet this, meet that, buy this car, buy that. You're still not going to be happy. Because let me tell you, God is big enough to rule the universe. Right. Yeah. yeah, He is. But He left one little place in your heart where only He can satisfy Amen. that. Yeah. Thank yeah. God. Yeah. And the only yeah. peace you're going to have in this world is in the Lord Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. Well, you're going to have tribulation. But the only peace you've got, as Connie was saying, the only real peace you've got is with the Lord yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I've tried it. I know what I'm talking about. I was a master of filthy jokes. Six hours straight, never tell you the same one. You know that about your brother Pierce, did you? Yeah, six hours straight. I was a real jokester. I filthy the better. And I liked that blue ribbon. And I liked the Winston. I kept some under my car when I got out of work. But thank God, honey, the night I came to the Lord Jesus Christ, before I came to the Lord Jesus Christ, the beer didn't taste good no more, the cigarette wasn't good, and the joke wasn't funny no more. Yeah. Oh, I found yeah. 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 oh, yeah. 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 the Lord. Thank God. I got the cigarettes out, got rid of the dirty jokes, but I never stopped drinking. Thank you. I just switched brands. Come on. 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 Size of Georgia pine, and yeah. we ain't got no hangover in the morning. Yeah. Come on, so I'm going to do this again. The more the Spirit of God you get, the more you're going to want. Come on. I promise you. What do you think Jesus put? What do you think God put in there? Taste of me, see. Once you get a good taste of him, honey, you want more of him. Yeah. Thank God. He's going on speaking. And full of glory. Tonight, if you want to know the Lord, call and remember the former days. How you fought the great fight of fiction. When you was illuminated, when God brought you to the light, call to remember the times when you could feel the Spirit of God running up and down the avenues of your soul. And the wee hours of the night when you begin to praise and bless yeah. God, how the tears would run down. You remember those days? Yeah. You remember yeah. those days? Yeah. Hell, if you ain't getting blessed like the old days, the other days, who changed? God or you? When God said, I'm God. Come on, say yesterday, today, forever. I'm God. Come on. And I change not. Yeah. God's here tonight to give you the victory. Are you tired of the many nights? Are you tired of the oppression? Are you tired of living a half hazard life? Let me tell you something. He said, I'd rather for you be hot or cold if you're lukewarm, I'll be out of my mouth. Yeah. Oh. You don't know, come to this church or you've already got a bad name. And you might as well just enjoy it. Huh? Yeah, that's the crazy bunch down there. You might as well just join us, honey. And say, I come here to praise the Lord. I don't care who likes it or who don't like it. I don't have to be socially correct. I come here to praise God. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, I think it's time to close tonight. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
about a world event. I'll tell you the next big world event. The next big world event. You mark my word. The next big world event is going to be man-made. So we can try to force us into one world government. Come on. You better get acquainted with him real quick. He's going to be the only peace. He's going to be the only hope you've got. He's the only peace you've got. He's the only hope you've got right now. Right. Is the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. I'm glad, thank God. He said, cast all of your cares yeah. upon me because I care for you. Let me tell you something. God's got so much invested in you. What you got invested in me, brother? Oh, you got nothing invested in me. Yeah, God's got plenty invested in you. Hold on, I'm going to tell you. When he looked down and seen you had no hope, he said, his son. Come on. He said, his son. And his son says, Father, I'm willing to go. He said, Jesus said, do not think that you take my life, I give it to you. I have the power to lay it down. Yeah. I have the power to take it up again. This is the man I received my father. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Did you know he said that? Who do you think he was talking about? Some taxi driver? Come on. He sent me. My father sent me. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Amen. To come down here and to walk among you for 33 and a half years. Yeah. You see, God will not accept the blood of bulls and goats and all that stuff. But my father will accept my blood. <laughs> because yeah. I'm his son. <laughs> and I'm willing to go. And then he cried out. He heard his father, heard the son, but he cried out, My God, my God, yeah. why hast thou forsaken me? Why would he say that? Because God will not look upon sin. He took all of my sins, past, present, future, put them all on his son. God will not look upon sin. But thank God we got one of the will. And his name is called Jesus. Come on. Heard his son as he said, Father, why hast thou forsaken me? And a little while later he said, Father, in thine hands I come in my spirit. Yeah. Yeah. And he bowed his head upon that cross, didn't he? Amen. The father's taste of death. Yeah. Yeah. God taste of death in his son in the agony and everything he put. Uh -huh. His son still got the scars in his hand uh -huh. and in his side and in his feet. Yes. And yes. when the jabber set a crown of thorns on his head, yeah. he, you tell me God's got plenty invested in you. That's why he didn't give up on you.